Man, I am skipping out on watching VCT and Friday Night Tights for this. Anyway, welcome to the malware. I'm Matt. How you doing, bub? Good to see you again. It's been a while. As you can see, we're in a new place. Yeah, it's a, it's a garage. Anyway, some new drama has been going on recently, and uh, that's this gentleman here. You know, we've been talking about Eric. Getting sued. And who's he getting sued by? The ISOM International School of Ministers. Interesting. ISOM. Look, we're just looking in Google. ISOM International School of Ministry. Apologies on that, ISOM. Don't sue me. <laughs> uh, we are going to take a look at a little bit of this video, and then Vito also, because that's the feud. Vito and and Dick versus Eric. Now, but this is a thing. Good Shepherd is alleging. Good Shepherd Ministries, unauthorized the owners of the trademark of ISOM. Use of their trademark. Don't worry, I have one of the best legal teams. This is something multi-million dollar companies deal with all the time. We'll be handling this. Inevitably, okay, that's interesting to say. Onto this as if it's some. I I like the ego trip going on. That's. I understand that's kind of for your audience. But I get it. Now is the time to be serious. Outside of the given context, most of what I'm about to say isn't even aimed Sorry about the at volume. the people that filed the lawsuit. The internet is an interesting place. We make fun of each other and we can do that. We can make our gripes known and we can dislike others. This is something that every individual is free to do. But totally fair. Yep, that's, you know, a lot of shit talk happening on the internet. Shout out to YouTube. But I'd like to think that there's a line that shouldn't be crossed when it comes to initiating conflict. At minimum, one should be prepared to deal with those consequences. I, I agree. And there's been some lines crossed in general. We'll go over that. I certainly am. This has real world implications and because livelihoods are potentially impacted, I must take this seriously as the owner of this company. What we have now. We'll we'll go over this real quick. Sorry for the pause face, Eric. I'll, I'll be nice to you. <laughs> the, uh, you know, he, he understands that our uh, people... Oh, my God, I missed the point he was trying to fucking say. Shit, do I do a whole video? I don't know. I'm going to back it up a little bit and keep going because I don't have a lot of time. Apologies. Shouldn't be cross when it comes to initiating conflict. At minimum, one should be prepared to deal with those consequences. Yes. I False like you. This has real world implications, and because livelihoods are potentially impacted, I must take this seriously. Uh, I'm seeing him read a thing. That's where I was going on that. I apologize for my 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 brain fart. Good, because lawyers are involved. Make sure you read and and have your lawyers let you read your thing so you're not messing up anything it's good on eric as the owner of this company what we have right now is a textbook example of gay ops not too long ago there was an gay ops is an internet term uh it's it you know it's like psyops for government or whatever it's it's a you know false Campaign usually of false flagging and I'm going to show you an example of fair use Let's set the scene. There's more than likely some reference to me before but a fat person by the name of Vito Really ramped up his public hatred of me at the launch of the Ripperverse last year since then I mean, that's when you really started to get I'd say obviously Eric's been famous for a good while I mostly heard of him when I saw him was coming out That's just me I'm a, I'm a boomer from the great state of Maine who's actually living there again. Uh, it's it's totally different. Um, I saw him, the comic coming out blew Eric up in a, in a good way. In a good way. Very frequently, this person has made a point to speak negatively about me and this company. Oddly enough, his friend joined in. Say his name. It's Dick, obviously. Once I publicly rejected the opinions that were masked as a review of ISOM number one, he ramped up his public down talking. 
He can word it as if I'm the one tripping at the criticism, but having his opinion be dissected and then be discarded may have hurt his feelings. Since then, I've had several other... That seems like a little projection, too. Especially with the review of your book. Things, very interesting things that have been levied at me, and we've collected the receipts on those. I can't give you everything. But That's fine. this is how the internet works, so talking noise isn't a problem. There are drama... A lot of people are saying, oh yeah, the receipts, the receipts, they might be good, they might be bad. That's something that, uh, you know, obviously since he's not saying anything, who knows what direction that could take. I think it'd be very dumb for Eric to try to sue Vito and Dick. Because obviously it wasn't them. Farmer farmers out there, they need to conjure up things. Some may consider it to be admirable that they have to talk about me to get the most engagement. But what happened out of this is what you'll take exception to. You may be thinking, why would something like this happen now? We are two books in. I will agree. I will contend. It's kind of strange that it's taken a year. And again, sorry for the pause face, but sometimes you can't help it. Uh, it it's kind of weird that it has been a year, you know, two books in now. And Isom is now finding out. But this happens all the time in actually a lot of trademark things. A surprising amount of time. In a full year removed from the launch of the Ripperverse, this may... It's likely because of the tip-off. In off. this lawsuit, they allege sure. why Ripper's accusations have caused actual confusion. An example of that actual confusion... That... This is a whole long email. <laughs> My god. This obtuse gnome, this is a guy from Twitter. I, I don't know him personally. Uh, I don't... Th who knows if anyone knows him personally. I'm an independent journalist for TDS News, so the implication there is the dick show news. There was, especially during the lawsuit, the original one, with Maddox and Dick, there was, you know, this independent journalism going around. Maddox impersonated a real person that... And that was stupid. Um, this actually does come up in the dick show fairly often. This kind of like going to, I, you know, I'm, I'm a journal, journalist, an independent journalist for these people. I was uh, considered, and also TPB, the problem biggest. Just saying, if you're, if you're trying to do that, oh, it's a typo. No, it's probably, it's probably intentional by this guy. The first, as I'm sure you know, the first comic book in the Ripperverse made a successful campaign. So the, the way a lot of this, you know, I would be curious to know when the decision was to make a comic book character using the same name as the International School of Ministry. This is obviously, you know, a little, a little ribbing, a little poking, saying, hey, your trademark's being used. Hey. Uh... Yes, Roy Ger Gerbel, Gerbel, is a reference as well. Um, it's it's very interesting. It's very interesting. This obviously stupid, stupid email. I don't know who up to gnome is, moron. Uh, it's this kind of stuff that causes internet drama, and it's usually a fan. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks for the people involved because it's not really their control. And it's not like a, oh, don't go out and say this because that's any reasonable person would know that. Obviously. Obviously. A email sent to the, say, the HR of a company, who even knows who this went to at ISOM, they would think it's a real deal. Anyone part of this community, the TDS and Biggest Problem community, would know this is obviously a joke. Right. But unfortunately, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here just so I can get through this video. Sent this email. Well, let's discuss. This person goes by the name Optus Gnome yes. in their and so this is him talking about Optus Gnome. They got suspended. And that was, I believe, for... Sh uh, Eric says it here. I believe for uh, doxing personal addresses for 
employees, which is bad, obviously. And um, I want to say, I don't know if this one was one of the ones that actually shared where the pirated copy of Isom was. Isom number one, the comic. Uh, Might have been part of that issue as well, which, again, fair. Totally fair. There, the issue of false flagging, especially with, I believe it was Vicky, Vicky Verse, who is a piece of shit too. Don't get me wrong. Using pirated copies, two pirated, you know, copies, two pictures, as an example of poor use of lighting. Look, my lighting is bad because I'm new to this, I'm new to this space right now. Because I'm new. But if you're a seasoned veteran, like the artist, I think it was Gabe. Is it Gabe Al Taib? I forget the names of, of. I'm not a comics guy. If you're a seasoned person and a seasoned comic uh, uh, reviewer says, "Oh, you know what? That doesn't really look that consistent. It doesn't look like right for the the, the area." You know, that's that's a valid criticism, even regardless of where that copy was found. You wouldn't complain about the quality of an, a video if you're watching a pirated copy, right? But you would if it was clear. If it was completely clear, you'd probably complain about certain artistic things. That being said, we'll move on. Interference, just how involved are they in this? Well, here they are on the show referring to contacting comic books for kids. So we contacted that charity. Uh, so this is the, the final- Nice cut. We, we contacted this charity. Big cut. Email that I got. So we have a tweet where he uses this email. Another big cut. Pointing to- Using, using two very like half spliced sentences. Sorry, I keep looking at out my window. It's tough. We being in contact with the charity and on video, it looks as if he does something similar. Remember, this is all a concern troll and the, the we this is yeah, concern troll, yeah, okay. Um Dick has really ramped up his if you if you know him at all, and I am a fan of him, I've been for a good while, probably since twenty seventeen or eighteen at this point. Right around the lawsuit is when I first knew of this guy. Uh you know that he loves Whatever the funniest thing is, he will go for that direction. No matter what. And it is funny to go against Eric. It is. It's it's hilarious. And the more spurging that Eric does to Buster Baxter, as he wants to call him, uh, the worse it's going to be for him. It's true. It's completely true. Uh, and that's not you know, legal matters. They just happen to be right now. That's just reputation. Any inch that Dick can find, he will, like a guy trying to measure his own dick, try to, try to, you know, shove the skin back. <laughs> uh, I've lost the analogy. Uh, you know, try to get every inch out that he can. I'm going to keep moving on. Let that simmer. It's just a socially acceptable way for me to act like a psychopath. Yeah. See? So this is a big opportunity. Now, this is another this is out of context clip. I think this is also, it's really important that it's Eric, called motivation. How expensive this is going to be, hmm. that's the goal. To Dick is an asshole. The character. Obviously, if you have seen him since day one, he's an asshole. Men are better than women. The book. Duh. The Dr. Phil thing. Duh. He's an asshole. That's the point. You are looking way too into this. In question. So now the Sorry, rules Eric. for the playing field have been set. And I'm the responding agency. Parties have shown that they have no problem either using the state against us themselves or running op campaigns to maybe push someone else to do it for them. This impacts not only... I really don't think that's what happened at all. I think it was just a fan who th took it upon themselves to do it. Uh, if you watch Biggest Problem like I do, and I don't really watch Eric's stuff, you know that 
they're not asking for this. It's it's pretty clear, especially early on. Especially early on. So I I I encourage you to watch the entirety of this video because you know, it's it's an entertaining video. And I want to hit this one up because up, I buddy? didn't you actually I, you know, autoplay is the best. I didn't actually read this one and this is Vito talking about it now. And look, Harry, but, you know, athletic guy. Harry, fat guy. If you're really going to boil it down to that, I guess you could pick the, you know, <laughs> the Harry fit guy. But, I guess I'm on the veto train right now. For now. We'll watch this video and see what happens, alright? So let's continue on. Probably having a better day than me. Uh, my day sucks. Got pulled the volume. A bunch of people on the internet are lying about me. And I don't know about you... But uh, I personally don't like when people lie about me, when people make up thing I've, uh, things I've done, when people accuse me of things I haven't done, accuse me of impersonating people or making fake That is running on unfortunate for Vito. Makes is me that not happy, makes me his, happy. His jokes, a lot of his stuff, and a great pause face, we're going right there. His, his, a lot of his jokes have fallen flat on deaf ears, on people who... Uh, I mean, the name of his community for the biggest problem is the Veto Files. He's obviously leaning into the joke. And people still think he's a pedophile. Sorry, YouTube. So, I'm going to address it. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to try and keep it quick and concise. Here we go. There's a comic named Isom. It's made by a guy named Eric July. Uh, I have political disagreements with Eric July. I don't like Eric July, and I think his comic sucks. And I've talked about it here. Uh, I've talked about it on my podcast. I think there's at least a a good line in the sand that his comic probably does suck. You probably like it and you're a fan of Eric or you don't like it and you think it's that you might not be a fan of Eric's. Okay, I'm a, I'm a critic. Okay, guys, I critique movies, I critique you know, uh, television shows. I critique Look at comic books. How books, garbage! And I read this. I some, and I think it sucks. And I talked about it. I think that might this be the joke. This has led to an ongoing feud between myself and Eric July. He doesn't like that we. I've, I've never him. really seen like Vito's him. content on his own channel, so this is kind of funny to see the background. It's like the '97 comic, windows. Uh, the Vista okay, windows. It's a, it's a stupid internet feud. And ultimately, it, this is free speech. I have the right to say I don't like a guy's comic. I have the right to say I think a guy's uh, running his, his business. His camera's really, moving all over the place. And that's what it comes down to. Now, people are oh, enjoying mine this does feud. Too. It's an ongoing feud. We talk about it on my podcast with some of you listeners. Stop moving your feet, Vito. Universe. Look, and I'm going to move my feet. a lot of fans really like the ongoing I Saw Eric July banter. Clearly, one fan went too far. Maybe. Yeah, look how much to is... make themselves uh, a part of the feud or a part of the drama or whatever we've kind of talked about this decide, i'm gonna skip along okay, a little so this is a person i've contacted in the past but let's be clear uh, i have a lot of fans of the show who dm me stuff who send me stuff for the show uh that's even i as the yellow flash thing was going on as we talked in the last video i dm'd Vito. i was like hey man i appreciate what you were doing you know probably didn't like you at the beginning but uh i, I mean at the beginning of learning about him but it, i've come around I don't know these people very well. I don't know who this guy is. I've never met this guy. I've definitely never told this guy, hey, you work for the show. Go out and represent the show. You can use our name. You can make crazy claims about being a journalist. That's obvious that he's never done that. This was a fan of the show who, yes, in the past has sent us material for the show, and we used it, but we had no working relationship. And that, that could be down guy. to possibly a problem for the show. Could possibly be part of the call-in episode that sometimes happens. It could be a multitude of things. It could be a fat watch for Dick Show, which is a very funny segment. I will, I will say, it's a lot of things, and it's too bad that it's too bad that this one guy has has done People this. Send us all sorts of for for Vito. Vito's, Vito's Vito's fucked up his own life enough, you know songs people send in fan art people send in articles for us to read on the show okay that doesn't mean they're a part of the show that doesn't mean they're our employees right. that doesn't mean uh, that we are, are working with them or giving them authorization it's to, like to, to act the, on their behalf 
So this guy, the contestant of a game show, is not the employee of the game show. Went out and did this. Obviously, he sent an email to this organization called the International School of Ministry, also known as ISOM. So it's another uh, business that uses the word ISOM to bomb the International yep. School of Skipping Ministry. Along. And they're now suing Eric July for trademark infringement. They're saying he's not allowed to use the name ISOM. Uh, okay, you know, I, I understand that nobody wants to get sued for a trademark violation. Right, because it sucks. And uh, I'm very upset that this fan Goodness. was fucking around and misrepresenting us and creating this stupid drama. But Eric July is now claiming that I sent this email, that I am obtuse gnome, that I have been secretly... Uh, maintaining a fake account to send emails and try and destroy. And that's people. obviously not true. Uh, he's saying this because, again, this guy previously sent us stuff for the show that we used on the show. We, we showed one of his emails between him and this charity. And he's saying, oh, you can see, you know, they said uh, we got this thing from the charity. They meant we as in they sent the email. No, we meant we as in somebody who's a fan of the show, someone from the fan community, went out and asked Eric July's charity some questions there's, and we thought it was relevant. There's some questionable wees in in that, and that's, you know, Vito's explaining it. That's his side. He was in hundreds of conversations over the past seven years. The idea that this Up is a fake no. account, that for the last seven years I've been arguing with vegans and random people on Twitter, also I could eventually... For I seven, yeah, on Twitter. for a lot. Okay, if I want to argue with vegans, I'll just... Vito has multiple Twitters, not just one. <laughs> Use my own Twitter. This obtuse gnome guy, again, uh, I have no idea who this guy is. All I can tell you is podcast has 7,000 paid listeners. I am getting hundreds of messages every day from fans giving me material for the shows, giving me articles to He's look got at. got the cat running across. Okay. And if one of them goes, decides to be stupid and say he works for me and goes out and sends these dumb emails, I don't like it. I'm not happy about it, but at the end of the day, I did not tell him to do this. I do not tell my friends to go out and harass people and ask them, please don't send them any weird making fun of them, because I think it's fun and funny. Now, and a big contention, I think. I mean, this is essentially what I've gone through as well. I'll put this video up in the description. Clearly, this wasn't Vito doing it or Dick doing it. Obviously, on their comedy podcast, they are taken out of context in many ways. Usually on purpose, because they want to. Uh, they say certain things t intentionally to be clipped, just like Eric has done. And uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video at least. And take a watch on their videos. Figure it out for yourself. See what you think. Obviously, I'm on the... The fat bearded guy side, not the the fit bearded guy side. So, I guess that's it for for this video. And uh, y'all have a good one. Have a good day, dear. The, oh yeah, the buttons over here. Bye. Bye now.